What's in the bag? Ribs are in the bag. Let's see here, went to Critchfield Meats. Got three rack of ribs. And I am going to cook these on the green egg grill. If this is what I do. I'll take some uh, mustard. A little bit on. This is only really pretty much to grab the seasoning, not for taste or anything. I rub it all over the uh, rib and do both sides. These rack of ribs, they look damn good. Oh, uh, you don't need much. So there you go. And what that will do is that will uh, grab the seasoning. I'm using a uh, brown sugar bourbon seasoning. Um, I got this, I believe it's Sam's, Sam's Club. It seems to do pretty good. And I'll just uh, put it on both sides. There you go. Everything's uh, seasoned. Got the rub on. It's ready to go. Now I need to go out here and uh, fire up the green egg grill. I want, I want these ribs at room temperature. That makes it cook so much better. It tastes so much, everything's just so much better. And these uh, these will be fall off the bone. They're gonna be awesome. Okay, here's the green egg. I'm getting ready to uh, put some charcoal in it. And get this thing ready to go. One thing I love about the green egg is the fact that, uh, you know, you can just, uh, Put lump charcoal in here and just be done and just slow cooking. I love the slow cooking. I enjoy prepping it. And uh, one, one thing I really like is that when you're finished cooking, you can reuse your uh, lump charcoal. You don't have to keep on filling it up and all that stuff. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit more green egg charcoal or lump charcoal in here uh, and I use the green egg brand pretty much um, you can use other brands but uh, I prefer the green egg charcoal this is a preferred green egg charcoal that I like to use so uh, you can get this any place you pretty much sells the green egg uh, grills Okay, so you have these little starter blocks here. Put them on into charcoal. I want this fire pretty quick, so I'm gonna use four of them. You know, some people, everybody's got their own method. And then uh, I use this little, this little green egg uh, lighter. This thing's pretty good. Now that's all fired up. I'm gonna let that start heating up. I'm gonna put these, uh, ribs on and slow cook at about 275 probably about four or five hours when making this brine it doesn't matter what you do uh, you pour some apple cider vinegar in this is what i do and then uh, that's kelly pouring that it's here uh, kelly and then uh we'll put some onion in cranberry juice she throws some cranberry juice in there I think she just wants to get rid of that cranberry juice, to be quite honest with you. <laughs> See all this candy left over from Christmas and whatnot. Um, and then throw some onions in there. It always makes it real good. Hold on. And that's it. Sometimes she'll put an orange in there. I don't think we have an orange, but uh, that usually works very well as two. But uh, okay. Well, let me wait on these ribs and we'll get them on the green egg. Okay, it's time to burp the brine in. Now, when you open these green egg grills, you need to burp it. Like so. And uh, I'll put this in right there on top of the convection plate. And then I'll put the rack right here. Like so. And um, now I'll go get these ribs and and lay them on there. 
this is how, how everything looks on a top angle view. Now I have a rib rack, but I don't uh, necessarily think I need to use it. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, but uh, I like them flat on the grill. And as you can see that brine uh, is right under it, under the grate, and uh, it's gonna work out just fine. The ribs have been on for about an hour and a half. I'm gonna check them out and see what's going on. Yeah, they're looking pretty good. Um, what you wanna see, you wanna see the bones start coming out. Just shrink up a little bit in the bone. They look nice and juicy, they look great. Okay, the ribs are ready. They're off the green egg. Now what you wanna do is double wrap them in aluminum foil. And I'll do that right now. And of course, the next step after this will be um, putting them in the cooler to rest. I'm going to put these ribs in the cooler. Time to get the uh, ribs out of the cooler. There they are. They've been resting for an hour. Let's see what we have. All right, let's take a knife. Fall off the bone ribs. They are delicious. Unbelievable. I think these are the best ribs you've ever made. 